Hello, my name is Christopher Nichols, and today I'll be doing a presentation on PD Player. Uh, PD Player is a new piece of software that's come out to the scene recently. Uh, it's been it's actually been around for several years in beta form, uh, in which point I was involved in the, in the early beta testing of this software, uh, and it's now actually turned into its first version. Um, and I'll be doing a presentation to talk to uh, about all the different features that PD Player can do. Basically, what PD Player is is uh, is a RAM player or a preview RAM player, uh, but it can do a lot more than just that, and we'll go over some of that as you will see. Um, before I get started, I'd like to talk a little bit about uh, how my, what my presentation will, will, will show and uh, some of the limitations of my of my presentation. The way I'll be presenting, as you can see, is a screen capture of what PD Player is doing here. PD Player will actually show frames uh, being cycled at uh, 24 frames a second, or whatever speed you happen to set it at. And uh, my presentation is. Uh, being set up to capture that present, uh, capture what's on the screen, but I am limiting the presentation to five frames a second based on the uh, uh, limitation of my hardware. So uh, while you will be seeing playback being played, it will seem a little stuttery. Uh, that's uh, mainly because of the capture, not because of the software itself. Uh, to check what the actual frame rate is being played at, you can see this number down here, which is basically telling you uh, what the frame rate is being set at in terms of the presentation. Okay, now with that out of the way, let's go on and talk about what PD Player actually is.